got to wait for the heater to turn off. Got some notes. Okay, we're in business. We're in business. All right, folks. Last year, I had a issue with my favorite EDC flashlight. Now, if you're not a person that EDC is a flashlight, you should definitely consider it. I never used to be, I thought it was a little bit silly, but having a little flashlight in your pocket all the time is so handy. You know, I had to change the batteries in our electronic lock and it was dark last night, so done. Obviously not this one. This was the Phoenix E05 and this was my all time favorite. I had washed this thing probably like 50 times and it has survived 50 times and then it didn't. I was kind of distraught. Uh, I was like, what am I gonna do? It's hard to find such a light. Did a little bit of researching, da -da 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 -da, of course on Amazon. <laughs> Where else do people buy things these days, especially flashlights? You go to the hardware store, you're gonna find big clunky things, not something like this. Found two really cool lights and I'm gonna show you those right now. Uh, I'll put links in the description to these lights. The first light we're gonna look at is the Olight i3e EOS. Why do they call them EOS? I don't know, that bugs me. This. I'm, fi I'm filming right now, bud. Okay. It's okay. Love you, dude. Love you. <laughs> You're a good kid. Okay. It's okay, dude. That's ah, fine. This is this little light. Small form factor, a single AAA battery. The weight on this, if you happen to be a weight weenie, which I am not, uh, the weight with a battery, the, the one they give you is batteryless, but it's uh, 8 18 grams or 0.635 ounces. The output on this is a single level and it's 90 lumens. That's pretty bright. 90 lumens out of this. Oh, I don't know what the runtime is. Don't anticipate it to be a whole bunch, right? Like you're not gonna get a little 90 lumens out of a AAA battery for 17 hours. I would assume not, but that's not what they're for, right? The way I carry these is I carry it right here in this little coin pocket. It's what I consider to be a flashlight pocket, provided that the flashlight is small enough to fit there. And I don't know what's on me. I, it, it, it doesn't bother me. It's just, it's there. I've got a flashlight. Love this little flashlight. Love Edie seeing a flashlight. And again, I'm telling you, beyond the point of which flashlights these are, if you don't Edie see a flashlight, try it. You, if you try it for a week, I'm pretty sure you would thank me and say, you know what, that's actually a good idea. Anyways, that's the first little flashlight. Again, I really like the small form factor. I wanted to make sure I had a light that was a AAA battery, not a AA. And it may seem like not a big deal, but this here is a stream light, which is a AA. And this is bulky in the pocket. I use this one in the garage, but you compare these two, I mean, it's clearly this is going to disappear and that's what you want. You want, you don't want it to know like, hey, I've got a flashlight on me and you don't want everybody to just know that, look, he's got a flashlight in his pocket. That's not what we're going for. Next light is even smaller. And this was one that I kind of didn't give much thought to, but this is pretty cool too. So this next one we're looking at, again, Amazon, link in the description. This is an Olight, an I1R2 EOS, again, why EOS? It's not a Canon lens, but this is the light. Very tiny. And we'll bring this in compared to this one. So you can see the difference there. So this one is much smaller. Really cool thing I like about this. First of all, two brightness modes. One, if you turn this a little bit, you'll hit one. Five lumens. Five lumens is actually very practical. You know, if you're in your car and you're trying to find something or if it's it's dark already and you're just looking for something, trying to find your keys, five lumens is enough to get done what you need to do when it's really dark and it's not gonna disturb other people around you. You're not gonna be giving off like, wow, what's he looking for? There's a big flashlight spotting around everywhere. But you turn it a little farther, boom! <laughs> 150 lumens. Five lumens, 150 lumens. 150 lumens is good if, say, if you drop something outside and it's small in the grass and it's dark out. 150 lumens. I hear a weird noise. Oh, my son's shoveling outside. 150 lumens will help you to find that. It is a very 
useful flashlight for when it's dark. Beyond that, so, so two of them. So this might be, I haven't actually carried this one very much. I've carried this a day or two. But the really cool thing about this, you may be wondering like, oh great, what kind of batteries does that thing take? Like the little button cells, it's gonna be expensive. They're not gonna last long. I have no clue what the runtime is on either of these. I've had this one and been carrying this one for about two months now, two to three months. No more, September I bought it. And I haven't replaced a battery in it. And I use it, you know, three, four times a week, semi-regularly. It's not like every day I'm hunting stuff down in the dark, but I use this all the time. I carry it every single day. This one, I haven't carried. I think I carried it two times. I think I was going to church because I didn't have much room, so I wanted something small. This fits the bill. Cool thing with this, you gotta check this out. What type of a battery does it take? A USB rechargeable battery. <laughs> Isn't that cool? So you literally just thread this back together and then it's on, two brightnesses. And then when you gotta charge it, unthread it. And there's an O-ring there and it, re it reveals the charging port. So that is so cool. Um, I don't know which one I like better. Uh, I was, here's my deal, I was so, taken when I lost this and this was the light that I just I love this flashlight this one seems a lot more similar to this one this one's actually a little bit smaller the diameter shrinks down a little bit and it's also shorter so ultimately I've ended up with a slightly smaller flashlight which to me is a is an advantage but then this one here I mean oh goodness gracious these <gasps> that's so cool I don't know I'm really excited about this there's not a lot that goes on with these. You know, generally all these lights like Phoenix or Olight, they're not moving parts, right? And the technology is, I'm gonna go and say, I think it's all pretty much the same. I don't know if one's gonna beat out another. Uh, maybe like in when you get into like tactical use knives where they're gonna be beaten hard, but these are just EDC type products, right? I think they're gonna last just fine. If not, they're very, very cheap. I don't have the pricing in front of me, but they're, they're not expensive. And for that, to carry that on your person, it's worth it in my opinion. Now, one thing I might actually be doing is buying another one of these because what I do like to do is carry a keychain flashlight. This one comes with a little lanyard loop, but to me, this is too big for a keychain. This comes with it as well, and this might be more reasonable. This here is a Streamlight Nano, and this to me is a keychain size light. You know, it's, it's quite a bit smaller than my key fob, almost as thin, not a big deal, right? And the batteries are dying on this. This one takes the little button cell batteries, and so that's unfortunate. They don't last very long, but it is nice to have, you know, for just to have. It's, it's handy to have a little keychain light. Uh, I think this might go on there next, and I'll start carrying this. Uh, the one thing with it being USB chargeable, I don't know how long, you know, if you leave it on here, you might just be like, oh wow, it's totally dead. I, I'm not sure, I, I don't know. Sometimes I've found this thing on, I'll be carrying my keys around and notice something glinting and this thing will rotate on when it's in your pocket. But anyways, a couple of really cool flashlights. You guys might be interested in checking them out. I strongly, I highly recommend these, even though I haven't used this one, it's just so cool. You can almost swallow this, like, it's so cool. Like, man, if I had a bigger ear, you'd almost, ah, great little flashlights. Anyways, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. I'll do my very best to answer them, and we will see you all on the next video. Cheers. Here, one last shot for you guys. Side-by-side -side brightness comparison. That's hard to tell on the, on the screen, isn't it? This one is 150 lumens. This one's 90. Can, can you tell like this? 150 lumens, 90 lumens. I can't really see in the screen looking into there, but they're bright lights.